It's almost over. Hang in there, dear watchers. Welcome back. One defense and three episodes so far. Well, I was kinda hoping that I could make few episodes out of this defense and it turned out to be just like that. Anyway, we're getting out of stuff like stuff to wear and the resources to repair them. So I'm just gonna take whatever is there. We have no metal left. I don't know if we can do a metal run in the middle of this. Probably not. Now I got a pistol and a lot of what was that? Ah, I think Takuel farming metal. That's nice. Anyway, let me keep shooting stuff. Oh look, Armin is telling a random griefer to attack the oil cave. I don't know what's up with my tribe mates. Why are they keep doing this? It literally achieves nothing. Good news, we had some metal in the breeding area vault, and we're gonna use that. What am I seeing there? Is that a dead racer? We killed a racer and I missed it. Someone is sniping right at us and he is at that tree platform.
No, Tokrel got Plan Z. That's bad. We gotta save that mana. As you can see, we didn't just lost the mana, we also had the racer on it. How could we be so bad? I saw that cryopod many times, but I just didn't take it out. Major Bob moment there. I whistled the mana neutral, so I don't know if they got it or not. I guess they got it, but I don't think that's gonna make any difference. They probably have 100 racers ready. Anyway, now we're down to 1 mana. So now my time is up. I had to go do some IRL things. I had to go to the bank. With me leaving and stuff draining super fast, try mates kinda lose the motivation. And they also stopped defending too. So after I left, it turned into an offline raid. And right now we were thinking about how to keep rest of the stuff safe. I had hidden storages with only starter stuff at the old raided base. We had arrived at the waterfall with some good stuff. And rest was with Takuel in his hidden vault. He showed where was it, but I don't Really remember where was it so half of our good stuff was with him and maybe some in his upload so even though we wanted to save stuff i am too tired to rebuild that's what i said at that moment and here comes the great irony our ally our friend not safe for work tribe offered us something they're in the server 82 alliance which we couldn't join because of the name kaiser they offered us to join them they had one spot open if i remember that correctly so I won't even try that. I don't think I can join them. Even I could do that. I rather keep my group of people. Anyway, these guys were so mad. You're gonna see how badly they were mad. I will tell you and show you that very soon. So I was feeling like to quit. And I asked Takuel, would you like to join them instead of me? And then there comes the great irony. It will come right after this raid. 
Anyway, I had to go to the bank and I give my mana to Takuel and logged off. But before I do that, they finally brought the mech and start clearing the spam. You just can't raid anything while the defenders have good spam and also they're online. So I'm just gonna wait Takuel to get ready. Let's wait together while we watch our spam get destroyed by a mech. So, then I came back, 3 hours later, and I still had beds to spawn, and the logs were still active, they were still destroying stuff, 3 hours offline raid and they were still not done, look at all these red. What are you doing you poor thing, looks like they just dropped it and let it die, let's check the outside now. This thing looks very intact. Now let me check how much HP do you had. 35k, that's pretty bad. Greenhouse is still here too, what are they doing, for real? Let's see what is left down there. Well, this is perfectly fine, what's up with that? Why they didn't touch it yet? Oh, breeding base is gone, that's why. Such pops, you're supposed to destroy turrets first, not spend 3 hours on foundations. You know, when I said I see no beds, I had a lot of beds, like hidden beds. You need to destroy every single foundation to get rid of them. There is so much effort to destroy few beds. So, now you can imagine how mad these guys were. They left this place for some reason. I think they forgot. You know what we had here, a Parlovia, but I don't even know what was in. Few diners maybe. Wow. 
RG traps are gone. Who destroys RG traps? Seriously. Draft is gone too. I mean, that's expected. After you see it, you gotta destroy it. I'm back to climbing this hill with nothing. Unbelievable. Look at this. They literally destroyed everything with my name on it. I mean almost everything. They got lazy at some places though. But no one bothered to destroy these leftovers. Imagine the madness levels. Let's see the main spot. That was the base, right over there. So many days passed on that now empty cliff. Now it is nothing but pipes and some fence sports. Looks like this is another place they got lazy. They spent hours wiping these structures. This fence wall is looking so beautiful. So, this is the achievement we got. This is what we have managed to get so far. So, now what? What happens to Kaiser Core now? Before that, let me tell you this. I told Takuel to join his new tribe and take everything we saved with him. And for me, I will take a break. Hopefully, a long break where I can make some videos and get some views, hopefully, and some subscribers and finish all of my old recordings. And then maybe start to make up-to-date videos. Maybe like a week or two weeks old videos, like everybody else. Anyway, Takuel, he actually got accepted to the server 82 alliance under a new tribe name i mean it was a new tribe not just a new name all that fight was forgotten like the server alliance didn't make a trouble about it so just take a second to think about it takua says something in global chat this tribe popcorn express gets mad about it but they blame me for it and when they feel strong enough it took them a while to feel strong enough they wipe our base and then takuel joins their alliance isn't this like wow but also, when you actually think about it, I think they didn't even know it was Takuel. I don't think I told them. Like, I don't think I said, no, it wasn't me, it was my tribe mate. Don't blame me, blame him. Or, let me kick him out. I'm not doing that, that's for sure. So, they probably had no idea it was him. And actually, it's nothing to be surprised if they had no idea. But, when you know the truth, it is a great irony. Anyway, you're probably wondering, what is going on? Why are you at the same spot? Are we even on the small tribes? Yeah. Yes, we're on the small tribes. And yes, we're on the same spot, but not exactly the same spot, because this is another server. So let me just fast forward all of these. Kaiser Core is not dead yet. I took a break, like a week maybe. Then I found out about this insane event that multiplies rates like 10 times. So I just came to this server. I had to change servers, you know, because when the alpha tribe is after you, you have to change the server. You gotta retreat. Anyway, I got an Ankylo and 
energy. I don't remember where, but they don't look like tame ones. I have imprint on them. I could have got them from hidden storages or some other hidden spot. And maybe Takuel brought these dinos for me. I don't really remember, but I think it was probably hidden somewhere. So, when I heard this 10 times event, even though none of my tribe mates were willing to do this again, I just felt like if I only had more time on this place, it was gonna be very powerful. With a really good spam in front, Gigas, Rhinos, Velos, all we need to defend. We can put up a good fight here. I mean, we had like nothing and we hold them off for hours. Just with two or three people, with Dinos, we hold them for hours. And they could only manage to raid us when we log off. So, I thought, we just need more time. And that is why I started building up here solo. And which server is that? I didn't remember the server number, but I think I just showed you a few seconds ago. This is the server 83, Valguero and we're gonna try to do the same thing one more time but don't worry it's all gonna be on this episode some guy with a pt just passed through he didn't say anything i think he was just a bob and he saw the turrets and ran the other way and are you seeing this event rates i'm getting so much metal it's been a while i farmed solo and i kind of missed it it's also great with these event rates i could have made a new episode with this rebuilt i really don't want to i just want to finish this But at least, let me speed this up. It's all filled up and all the metal is cooking nicely. I made all these shots and record most of this early grind, thinking it was gonna be a new and successful restart. Who remembers this? Guess what I got. Yeah, only the most dear watchers guessed it right. Base plans are made and laid out nicely. Outline of the base is pretty much done. This is few hours past and Armin saw what I did and I think he called me crazy and came here to help me out. But he also got this OP mana. How he got it? He saw some guy AFK on Green Abbey and he knocked him out and took all of his stuff. This is not what I do. I rather give this mana back to its owner but I fear it might cause us getting wiped by them. So I'm just gonna let Armin have this. So, metal cooked, and we have the CP, and this is the base now, only two more hours passed. Also, this is the new outside crafting station. Two more hours passed and Takuel was here too. I think he is in the process of going to his new tribe. Also maybe he's not sure about if we're gonna still play. He might be wanted to stay in the Kaiser core. I don't know. Alright, let's take a look at the base. It's almost done and pretty much the same thing. So, I just finished the base. It's all closed now.
I need large walls to make this perfect and they cost a lot of metals. Also, I think nobody can get through from those. So, this is the end of today. And tomorrow is gonna show us what happens next in this season. So, as you can see, we didn't survive the night, which I don't really care. I can just repair and rebuild this today. But the thing is, the thing I can't do is get another rhino line. Before we could make this base stronger with a lot of turrets, Takuel brought the rhino line here to grow. We had an OP rhino to breed, and it wasn't even ours. It was a borrowed line. It was from Busy and Hypnos, not safe for work tribe. We were supposed to breed the rhino and give it back, but we lost it. Only thing that matters is dinos and lines. Other stuff can be farmed really easily, but not the dinos. We even have the crafting station left alone. Like 90% of this base is intact. It's easiest repair ever. So losing that many days old base at 82 and actually getting foundation wipe couldn't kill a Kaiser core. But losing the borrowed rhino line did. So Kaiser core is dead. And this season is over. Season 3 of my small tribe series is officially done. Let's check the logs as always before we log out. We still had a lot of dinos at the hidden vault. Especially that tech quetzal. Good thing that wasn't lost. We were not supposed to bring any dinos here before we actually had some turrets. But what can you do now? It's too late. Anyway, this time we're actually ending this. And I think only Takuel kept playing. I don't know. Maybe he get to use them for something good. So before this season ends, let me tell you something. As you can see, no matter how hard and how many times I try, I am just not good at this. I'm not successful. I just can't make it. But I don't want to join a tribe with an oil cave or with an ice cave. That's not the point. I had offers. I had people asking me to. We got this fully built OP base. We need members. Come join us. But I don't want that. The whole point of this game for me is making it on my own and also with my group. Starting from nothing and moving up, getting better. But if you're not on a good spot, you're on a timer. Clock is ticking and you don't have a lot of time. 3, 2, 1 and they're at your base. Raiding it. Also, the thing is, when you got a good base, everyone is so nice. Everyone is so forgiving. But when you don't, and if they think they can raid your base, they're making up excuses so badly. I'm gonna raid you because of this, because of that. Nothing really matters. As long as they think they can raid you, it's very easy to find a reason. Most of the time, that reason is BS. Because these people think they actually need a reason to attack someone. That's even worse. That's dishonesty actually makes me frustrated. But in the reality, you don't need a reason. But they keep trying to make up reasons. And that is why it's always a bad and weak reason. Just be honest and say you want to loot or you want the experience of raiding the base. Honesty is always and always better i will appreciate the honesty no matter what is the outcome and i will despise the dishonesty no matter what is the outcome so for me to continue on this path the arc official small tribes path things need to change and things will change thank you for watching this season three of my official small tribes dear watchers see you on the next season